Bride reads this at the altar after finding out what was going on with her groom. But before we start, please take a moment to give this video a like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you'll never miss these great stories. Wedding is a word that carries with it a lot of anticipation. Weddings require vows to love the other person faithfully till the very end, no matter what. Any married person knows that this is no easy task and that sometimes the person you're married to is not who you thought they were. In the story of Casey and Alex, we get an inside look into what could befall anyone minutes before their wedding, thus forcing them to make a life-changing decision in the heat of the moment. Names changed for privacy. Casey and Alex had made an agreement not to see each other a few days before the wedding. Everything was planned out to a T. In particular, Casey was very specific about how she wanted the wedding to go. She would have controlled the weather if she could. On the other hand, she did not know that she would be the one to create the dreadful scene that was about to play out. On the morning of the wedding, the bride was all smiles. She was excited about the new step that she was ready to take. Never in her wildest dreams would she have ever imagined that the storm about to hit would capsize her metaphorical boat minutes before it took off. Casey and her friends were gathered in a room in an exquisite hotel that was closest to the wedding venue. Predictably, they were engaging in girl talk before the big day. Her friends, who were already married, shared with her tips and stories, showering her with love and well-deserved attention. She was deeply anticipating her honeymoon and life with her husband after. The teasing was all fun and games until reality dawned. One of Casey's friends happened to tease her about the changes that would happen in her life after the wedding, and at that instant things began going south without any of her friends taking notice. Casey was aware of how big of a decision lay in her hands. There was no doubt that she deeply loved Alex. Nonetheless, she wondered whether love was reason enough to warrant a permanent life not to him. Suddenly, Casey was up on her feet, distressed and walking out of the room. Marriage was no longer as appealing to her as it had always seemed. Her friends understood that the anxiety was due to cold feet and so her best friend Jennifer who had then already been married for a year, followed after her to give her some advice. She helped her see the other position by explaining that true love was hard to find, especially in this day and age, and surely it was. That having a man love you enough to accept his proposal, to have you by his side for the rest of his life was special. Casey, on the other hand, could not help but wonder what would happen if she were making a mistake what if the marriage failed? To prevent further complications, Jennifer came up with a grand idea. Having been best friends since they were children, Jennifer knew very well how adamant Casey was, especially once her mind was made up. She knew Alex, on the other hand, was a good man whom she would not want her best friend to make the mistake of walking away from due to fear. She therefore did what any best friend would do, bend the rules. Excusing herself for a few minutes, Jennifer went back to the hotel room in search of something. Everyone looked at her in anticipation of any news. She explained in brief that everything was okay before dashing out again. But was it? Upon arriving back, Casey was at the verge of tears. Jennifer handed Casey her phone and they both understood that it was the best thing that she could do. Call Alex the love of her life. Alex was the only one who could be of any help by reassuring her of the love that they had shared. When Casey's name lit up Alex's phone, he right away knew that it was a pressing matter, as his bride was never the one to break the rules. Upon answering the phone, Casey began with an apology before explaining to him the fear and doubt that was crowding her mind concerning their wedding. Alex, on the flip, was bewildered by what was happening. Six years was a long time to be with someone and Alex made a good point of bringing it to Casey's attention. He relieved her of her burden by assuring her that he deeply loved her and that he would do his best to keep her happy. He went ahead to explain that she was his perfect choice and he was lucky to have her as his bride. After a few minutes of laughter and flirting, Casey hung up the phone. 
She had explained that she was feeling much better and that they had better stop talking before he ran out of words that he would need to save for the altar. She felt like a little girl who was in love. Jennifer was very proud and happy for her friend. Sometimes calm comes before a great storm. After all, lightning can surely strike the same place twice. Casey's phone lit up with a text message. However, she did not see it as she was busy hugging her friend. She apologized for all the trouble and they returned to the hotel to leave for the grand, long-awaited wedding. Thinking it was best wishes, Casey decided to ignore the text as she was busy at the time. She handed her phone to a friend for safekeeping. The phone knew better than to maintain its silence. A third text lit up her phone and out of curiosity, she decided to check to see who it was. It was an unknown number. What do you do with that? As expected, she read the text only to realize that the unknown person was more than familiar to her fiance. Her world stood still. Unable to completely understand what was happening, she walked out on her best friends yet again and went to the bathroom. Streams of texts started flowing in and she carefully read each in disbelief. Tears were freely flowing from her eyes as she trembled with each word. Unable to digest it all, she threw her phone away in anger. Fifteen minutes later, her friends became even more concerned and began knocking on the door. Casey's world was falling apart and no one could help fix it. Not even Alex this time around. Her friends were terrified as no response whatsoever came back when they called. Living her worst nightmare possible, Casey encouraged herself. She stood up on her feet, strapped on her heels, picked up the bouquet of flowers and working but cracked phone and went out of the washroom. She decided that she would face the situation like the brave fighter that she was. Keeping everything to herself, she confidently left for her own wedding, leaving everybody behind. No smile, no facade. Damn those mood swings for ruining my best friend's wedding day, Jennifer thought. The texts Casey had received were from a girl whom Alex had been having an affair with behind her back. Broken trust, broken relationship. She was furious but still in disbelief that Alex would make such a fool out of her. However, she knew better than to sulk and call off the wedding. As a matter of fact, she was getting excited. It was time to reveal to the world who the final joke was on. The girl, after sending all the screenshots, told Casey, I wouldn't marry him, will you? Thinking rationally, Casey decided not to kill the messenger, but directly went for the sender himself. The text spanned from several months back to only a few days prior. In an interview with Danielle Cauley, Casey explained that there was no way she could doubt the legitimacy of the messages as little moments began to add up. She felt like she had been made a fool of for six good years, but every dog has its day, doesn't it? Many of the screenshots sent included selfies of the other woman, with the one who was texting her Casey's complete opposite. While Casey was blonde and fair, she was dark-haired with olive skin. Each word was like a knife thrust into an already open wound, and being twisted back and forth mercilessly. She knew she had nothing more to lose, the six years together were already behind her and nothing she could do would erase the memories nor return the money she had spent in the wedding preparations. People had also traveled from far to gather for the wedding and so calling out Alex publicly was her way to return his bold betrayal. She could not believe that Alex, the man whom she had wholeheartedly loved and devoted her whole life to, could throw such a humiliating and devastatingly painful blow below the belt. He would turn the day that ought to be her most joyful into a reality check that everybody would witness. Casey recalled walking down the aisle as a sad and disappointed bride. Alex could tell from her expression that something was terribly wrong. Clearly, his six years of brutal lies were over. Arriving at the front, Casey was trembling. She was having mixed emotions about what she was about to do. Was it really necessary? She loved him after all. Ironically, she stood there looking radiant. Her family and friends all looked at her with admiration. Yet in Casey's mind, her dream dress had been reduced to a simple costume that would only come in handy for the drama that was about to erupt. She studied herself, then began reading the text. 
trying as much as she could to maintain a steady voice. This weekend, you and I. It is on, hot stuff. Bring your A-game, the message said, continuing on explicit compliments about the body and skills of the woman in question. She read it aloud, word for word. The texts were X-rated, conveying that Alex had a deep sexual connection with the other girl. They went on to explain how much intimacy the two had had, and would have, being the epitome of all deception. Gasps and whispers could be heard all throughout the crowd. Alex made a move to grab Casey's hand, but instead, she revealed her phone that she had been reading from. She ran all the way with it, reading every text that she had received from the girl. Alex was like a fish out of water. He looked pale, gasping and drowning in humiliation. Casey finally lifted her eyes to meet Alex's. He was at a loss for words, ashamed for masterminding such a cruel perversion, for taking advantage of a woman who had wholeheartedly loved him. And that very moment, he knew that he had lost her, that having the best of both worlds was a selfish fantasy. Unable to carry his cross, he quickly made for the exit of the church with his best man shadowing behind, leaving his family completely baffled. She was left standing at the altar alone, feeling like a free bird. Joy was seeping out through her heart as she knew she had made the right decision. Proud for standing up for herself, she faced the congregation and announced that there would be no wedding, as Alex had been the walking, talking, living and breathing definition of a cheater. She, however, made a generous and sound decision by inviting everyone to celebrate honesty, finding genuine selfless love, and making the right decision even when it was overwhelming. Expressing her love to all who were in attendance, she thanked them for gracing her occasion with their presence. Soon after, there was immense silence followed by a little awkward applause, then cheering here and there. No one was sure of the appropriate next move. Despite the awful circumstances, there was a party after that put everyone at ease and assured Casey that she was on the right track with her life. The story went viral overnight and garnered Casey a lot of attention. Everyone held their opinion with many affirming Casey's actions. As a matter of fact, many women took delight by giving her golden stars for having a strong voice and speaking up for herself. She was applauded for not settling for less and setting a high standard for girls around the world to emulate. One reader wrote, a very brave woman who deserves and will certainly find someone better. I wish her luck and happiness. While another comment read, wow, very strong and forward thinking of her. Honesty is the best policy with self and others. Blessings all. She went from being an almost silent victim to a wise and audacious voice of reason. Six years was a long time to be with someone to simply let them go. Casey knew for a fact that she still had mountains of mental and emotional trauma alongside memories to climb. Alex's actions were nonetheless the helping hand that gave her the strength to get through the oncoming devastation. Most of his friends were also on board in helping her after witnessing the betrayal. Since that day, Casey has been focusing on herself. She still believes in true love, but has become more skeptical of people's actions, guarding her heart from more hurt. Her confidence still stands, and if her wedding experience didn't, then nothing will stop her from being genuine in all her affairs, wanting to make sure nothing like her awful day happens to her or anyone else ever again.